Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and this is gonna be a little bit of a different video because not only is my garden getting all ready with plants getting put in the ground, but I'm also looking at some other things to keep my garden organized. Because right now, this, is, this year, I have way more plants than I ever had, way more pots than I ever had, and back here is getting a little bit messy. And there's just a couple of other things that I wanted to organize too. So I decided to do a haul on some of the things that I got and from some of the places that I got them at because everything's on sale right now. So I thought maybe if it helped me, it might be able to help you guys too. All right guys, so we're gonna start with the biggest item because I am so excited about this. Now, my seeds have gone from just a small little bag of seeds to a box of just seeds. <laughs> and I wanted one of those big organizers, but they're so expensive and I always thought I'm not paying that much for that. But I went to Hobby Lobby and they had the photo organizers for $24 and then they were 50% off. So these are pretty cool because not only is it like one big container, but they're individual containers too as well. So the plan is to separate the seeds by type and then be able to put them in there and then organize them by season. So then that way when I'm planting my seeds, I don't miss something when I'm trying to plan out my garden and I have everything all organized and all pretty and for 14 bucks this is totally worth it guys now part of this too is that we have been pretty much in lockdown we pretty much go other places like a few places just to get groceries and sometimes the Dollar Tree when I wanted to get the stackables but other than that unless we're working we're not really going anywhere we're kind of like in a self quarantine so me going out and doing a little shopping, I was very excited about it. But the next place I went to is Target. Now Target has a lot of just spring things out right now, which is very, very exciting. First up was one of these pots. Now they had all these different types of pots. Um, they're glass and they're really, really nice. And they have these like little, give me that, like little hole things at the bottom with a little plug. So, you know, in the back in my garden, I don't really care what the pots look like because I just need them to grow food. But in the front, usually I grow some form of herbs because it doesn't get that much sun, but it does get a little bit, but it doesn't get as sweltering hot <laughs> up there. So I'm able to grow a couple more things. And I wanna have something nice and pretty up there because that's by the front door. So these pots were only $3, guys. Like, this was exciting. So the next thing I got from Target was a glass spray bottle. Now these things are important because when it comes time to have pests and all types of craziness in the garden, one of the things I mix up is water with a little bit of soap and a little bit of vodka or rubbing alcohol, whichever one I have. And leaving it outside, which is where I kind of just want everything to be that has to do with the garden, it always like melts or something like that in the plastic bottle or the bottle explodes or something happens to it. So I've wanted a glass bottle, but they've always been super, super expensive. This one was at Target and it's with the rubber bottom too as well. So if it falls, it doesn't break as easily. And it was only three bucks guys, $3 for it. So I was pretty excited about this. This is going to get a mixture put in it so that then it's ready for the pest season. So speaking of pest, which the next thing that I have, and I don't really count this insect 100% as a pest just because scorpions kind of keep everything clean out in the garden and they also keep bigger bugs and different things from going inside my home. So I noticed that once I grew my garden and had like a couple of like little shady hidey spots for the scorpions, I didn't get one any scorpions in my house, but I also didn't get anything else like crickets that chirp all night. So I do like that. But there is also the fear of stepping on them. And when you're walking outside, you don't want to step on them because you can't really tell where they're at until they like sting you. 
So uh, one of the things I usually do during the spring and during like the winter part of the garden or winter part of the season is I walk around my garden barefoot. There are no scorpions out when it's super cold and I do like to practice grounding which I think is very helpful and, and good for your body. But during the summer, it is a million degrees, and the last thing you want to do is walk around barefoot. But you also don't want to walk around in flip-flops because you could get stung by a scorpion, which only leaves tennis shoes, and then it's 100 something degrees. Well, and you don't want anything like rubber because then it melts. So I found these at a store called Five Below, and they're like those like little croc things. So uh, they're waterproof, but they're also just foam. So it's not something that's going to melt on my feet, and it's also something that's not going to seriously burn my feet either. So I'm pretty excited about these. They're pink, which is one of my favorite colors, and they also were only $5, and like I said, waterproof, because by the time when I'm gardening and it's like 100 degrees, I just want to spray the plants and then spray me, and then spray the plants and then spray me, because it's so hot out here. Now to wrap everything all up, the last item that I purchased is going to solve my organization problem. Now I wanted to have some type of organization cubby where that I could put all of like my gardening tools, all of my um, bone bone marrow or bone meal and gypsum and different things like that, fertilizers in one pocket, and then things like my water bottles and spray bottles in another pocket, and like my tomato clips and another one and I was gonna build something but then when I was at five below I found this organization cube for five bucks it was just five bucks and the nice part is is that it is a vinyl so that it's not like a wood which is what I was gonna make it out of but I feel like the wood might have gotten some type of like termite or something like that and I always worry about termites being close to the house which is where this is going so I didn't want that to be close to the house but this is a vinyl padding so the pads are vinyl so it's going to be able to not hold water and get ucky and also not breed termites so I'm pretty excited about it so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like because I am going to clean up this backyard to where we can get back to having barbecues and breakfast and me working out here because this is the best time in Arizona to garden. You guys will find me back here all day long every day until it is 100 degrees. <laughs> Alright guys so this is what it looks like and as you can see it keeps my shoes off the ground so that then I will know if there's a scorpion in them because that happens in Arizona and then also it holds these little things from the Dollar Tree perfectly so then I can put all of my pruners and my utensils in one I can have my harvest baskets there and there and then I can put some other stuff there I do need to go and organize this whole mess and this will be my little organization bin where I keep all my garden stuff. I also want to mention that a lot of the things on here are plastic, even like these like little pieces are plastic. The buckets are plastic too as well. I'm not really worried because during the summer we will have a big umbrella that goes right there and it shades our back door and the tree and everything that's underneath this. So that won't be a concern of if it's going to melt when it's 118 degrees. Well, I hope you guys are having fun organizing your gardens and I hope you find some of these dills. I will put the websites down below so if you guys don't live in a state that have them, maybe you guys can order it from their websites. But all of these products were very, very cheap and this was an amazing deal. So if you have a Hobby Lobby, go there. All their spring stuff is 50% off. But until next time, guys, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye, guys.